What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and we are using the Fives of Mordor uh, mod again and this is the third part of our mini series that we have going on and a major development is the Grey Company have arrived to join the King's forces. Look at these boys, elite archers these guys are. I mean so yeah, so basically um, if you've watched the other two parts you'll know what's going on, if you haven't I recommend you go and do so. Um, but basically, so far, um, the rebels, which are over here, made up of Lambdon, and now Lozenarch are joining. I think they have some Axemen back here. These guys, uh, here they are, Lozenarch, um, have joined, uh, are now part of the rebel force, uh, trying to, well, I presume usurp the king, uh, and uh, put their own choice on the throne. And uh, they won the first battle against Penneth Gillen, then Dol Amroth did indeed uh, defeat Lebanon at its city. So Lebanon got taken out of the war. Um, and now Dol Amroth and Le uh, has annexed Lebanon. And well, and now the re the rebels are taking on, uh, well, annexed uh, Penneth Gillen. And Loznarch, seeing as they were on the doorstep of Penneth Gillen, have decided to go over to the rebel side. And uh, this is where we are basically at now. They're marching on towards the white city of the rebels. If they win this battle, then they have, uh, well, a free free roam towards the White City, which is, of course, Minas Tirith. So uh, let's get on with the battlefield the battle and see what's uh, what's happening. I mean, just at the moment, it's a lot of skirmishing. Uh, the rebels have got Lambdon archers. I think about six or so units of them. About maybe even more than that. I think about seven, seven units of archers. They have um, lots of London men at arms making up the bulk of their their forces, um, either by sword or by shield. They have lots of uh, well, quite a few Lozenarch medium ax Lozenarch medium axemen, uh, which are pretty sure they have like a unique unit. Where are they? There he is, four long the old. He's leading the Lozenarch forces to uh, to glory today. I don't know if he's really any different to um, the normal Lozenarch. Ma Medium infantry, but we'll find out, I guess, at the end if he gets how many kills he gets. We've got some London knights, which look basically like Gondor infantry. London knights of spears. Um, actually, quite a lot of these guys as well. Um, and then they have a lot of cavalry, um, more cavalry than the king's army, and it's more experienced. So we're gonna have to do something about this cavalry as soon as possible. We are post the king's army is probably ever so slightly outnumbered, but it does have more men by about a hundred. But we'll quickly have a look at some of the new units that uh, the five sub. Uh, Gondor have. I mean, well, these these are Gondor, Gondor knights. We also have uh, Ithilien rangers. We have Grey Company rangers. These guys look excellent. I mean, the, the main boys back here. Here they are. Look at these boys. Look at these Grey Company knights look excellent. Remind me a bit of Dol Amroth's men, but they are pretty damn good. We also have some Citadel Guard, uh, but with swords, which is a bit different to what they are in the sub mod. They kind of look quite cool with swords, I will admit. Um, and then, so we have two units of them, and our general unit is also a Citadel Guard unit. Um, I don't know if this is actually the king. This might just be a captain of the king that's been sent out to support. And we also have Grey Company Knights. Uh, there are some, what are these? Gondor Mounted Knights. And we also have some Grey Company Knights here. They look excellent. So they will be very key in uh, defeating these cavalry. So basically we need to hope that we can get some spears to help support in that cavalry fight and then that might turn the uh, tide of battle. But right now we're just shooting uh, a load of our arrows at each other and we're going to see what happens. I mean really we are outnumbered so we can't persist with this forever. I mean here we go. Looks like Landon are sending forward some troops. Looks like it's going to be some men at arms spears going forward. Any movement from the king's army over there no, nothing as of yet. Men at arms moving forward, as are the archers. Excellent. It looks great actually in these poppy fields. So, thank you. I'd just like to say thanks for all the support, guys, at the moment with uh, the channel. We're nearly at a thousand subs again. I, I basically say it every couple of videos at the moment, but we are we're almost there and. Uh, one last little push, if you love Lord of the Rings and you want to see more of it on the battlefield, then uh, do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. If you're watching a lot of the videos but you haven't decided to subscribe, what are you doing? Subscribe! 
get to that thousand, get to that thousand sub mark, and we can. Uh, I'll, I'll do create a Discord or do a face reveal or maybe both. We'll see. But I mean, it looks like there's. Look at this two solid lines going on right here now of uh, Lambda men at arms. They also have some Landon Knights on this side, which can be pretty tough. And they've got Axemen in behind. This is a thick line of infantry. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with this. I mean, if you look at, compared to the King's Army, not very thick. I mean, it's very wide, in fairness. Um, I think the plan was to uh, outflank them as much as possible, because he's going to send in all... If he's going to send in all these troops uh, and just... Defend this small narrow with a lot of troops around them, try and encircle and see what happens. We have Gondor militia actually as well in this army. These guys are going to be pretty awful. Don't know why uh, we have any militia. This is the King's army. Should have no militia here. But we have to we have to work with what we have. And here we go. The action has begun. The infantry has collided. Gondor infantry going in. Well, I keep calling them Gondor infantry. They're Gondor men at arms. Because there's no such thing as infantry. It's men at arms, knights. There's so many more ranks now. And there in go the Loznarch uh, axemen. It's why they call them archers, but they're definitely not archers. They're wielding a huge axe. I mean, it's goddamn beautiful. Very good. And then there's infantry and reserve getting ready. Are these doing a dying grey company? No. Oh god, these guys look very armoured up. Who are these? Just Gondor knights. They look insanely armoured. I mean, they do look just like normal Gondor infantry. But I guess just seeing like l other infantry on the battlefield, these guys look almost bulkier. And we now have an engagement going on out here. The cavalry are now engaged. Uh, these grey company are now free to do what they want. Um, I think they're going to invade, uh, take out these London Mounted Knights. But we do also have some Gondor Mounted Knights uh, basically fighting it out, taking out these archers, which is going to be huge. And now we could go for their general. Nice little clash here. There is the general himself. I forgot what his name is. Angbor, that's it, Angbor. He doesn't. He does look very fearless. He's straight in there, surrounded by uh, Gondor cavalry. If we can kill this guy, it'll be huge. Because we'll just basically cause a cha chain route very nicely. But already we've got breaking units here. Gondor militia. I mean, I'm not ex surprised. I mean, both these units are already breaking. It's pretty damn awful. Um, already committing Citadel Guard forward to deal with the uh, the breaking issue. Because uh, I'm not having to send in Gondor men at arms to fill up the spot. But, I mean, I need really spears. I've committed all my spears to the fight. But really I need his spears in this fight to help kill this cavalry off. Apparently, which I do have over here. I have some Gondor, uh, Gondor spears fighting, but they're still losing. How are these guys? Oh, don't really get out there losing. The spears against cavalry. I'm just kind of a bit surprised. If this was port guard, they wouldn't have a problem. But hey, some uh, it's some men at arms. Apparently, these guys still can't kill uh, some cavalry, and these Landon. Uh, cavalry look very similar to the Gondor ones. You're basically looking for anyone without a breastplate is a Landon man. Like this guy. There's a cavalry. There's a... a that might be an officer actually of the Landon uh, cavalry. But anyone with like a breastplate on is a... Uh, is a loyalist. And everyone else is a rebel. Rebel scum. But I mean, yeah, we're breaking stuff here. I mean, we're actually going to try and surround this cavalry with a little push here from men at arms. Nicely done. The fight's not actually started on the right flank yet, so we will stay on this left flank and uh, watch this. It's kind of just divided by a village. You can go through the village, but neither side has decided to do so. Um, this Gondor men at arms spears are breaking. I mean, I'm just bizarre that everything's breaking. I mean, there is uh, a lot of chevron dis uh, like advantages. All the archers have got more uh, chevrons. A lot more uh, chevrons with the Lambda Men at Arms. So that's probably why we are losing, but it's very difficult to say, say what we're going to do. Man's, these, oh god, yeah, this is not good. Cavalry are already in the back lines. This militia is uh, not holding the line very well. And now they're into our archers back here, and 
Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Um, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Whether we can send some spears off. I mean, I think I've committed most of my swords now into the fight as well to help support. It's just archers and some citadel guard back here now. And they, as you can see, they're getting run down in the back by those uh, cavalry. So that's not good. And you can see, look at those militia like, we'll, we'll help, we'll help in some way. Uh, oh, we'll go back into the fight over there. But yeah, the citadel guard are now trying to uh, route that cavalry. And I think they'll make it. But we'll, we'll carry on fight watching here. As these Loznarch axemen uh, await the order to get sent in. I mean, some of them are already in there, but most of them are kind of hanging back. We need to send them in. Crush these shields. Like, that guy just got crushed. And now on the right flank, the lines are actually engaging. Wow. Um, that's just kind of... I enjoy watching the bird's eye. And in they go. And here we go, Numen not Numenorians, I wish it was Numenorians, it'd be ca very handy, but we have Grey Company in here. What are these, Grey Company swords, I presume? Yeah, I don't think I have any Grey Company with spears, I don't even think that's a thing. But uh, yeah, so we're trying to have a, a similar fight out there with our cavalry, but I want to I wanna have a look at the uh, Grey Company, see how well they fire out. Probably pretty damn well. I the Great Company and the Citadel Guard are going to be what is uh, give the King's Army a chance of winning this. I just love the black shields. Oh, it looks they look excellent. So elite. One of the best units in this uh, sub mod, for sure. But yes, it sounds like a lot of breaking going on if you listen to the man with all the knowledge. Uh, doesn't look good, and as they rebels have found a little hole here, and they've uh, managed to actually sneak through some London knights. So it's not going to be good for these Grey Company. Oh no, not good at all. Yeah, this is not good. I mean, they'll hold pretty long, quite a long time. I have a feeling because these are some pretty elite uh, spears. I was trying to think what they're called. They're called just Gondor knights, aren't they? But with spears. Oh, it's, it's frustrating. I have all the all, all the names mastered for normal uh, Rise of Mordor in the sub mod, and then you throw in another sub mod with five sub mod, uh, five sub Gondor, and uh, you complicate the whole scenario. I mean, it looks like we're sending in some Citadel Guard over here. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun to watch. Let's let's get their view of it. Oof! Some friendly fire there. That's not good. And then they're just gonna charge in the side of these axemen. They'll probably route these guys. And there's actually a little flanking behind. How did this happen? Nice little flank. And that's breaking some of the uh, Axemen. They're probably the weakest unit actually in this army because they have no chevrons. But I mean, and look, more stuff breaking. This could be huge. Um, oh, that's not our general. I thought that was our general there that we sent in. But we have two Citadel Guard units like helping out here. Looks like, and but I mean, it's not looking so good on the right or the left uh, for us, uh, right for the rebels. London uh, Mountain Knights now crashing in, and I mean, they're just going to route these uh, men at arms pretty quickly, and then they just work their way down the line. So, we really need to sort something out. I mean, these pike, these uh, pikes, these uh, spears here could really do with going over there. They're not really actually fighting. I wish I had some pikes, so they'd be very handy. A few stabby boys, long stabby boys, being able to kill quite a few boys, quite a few of these men off. Like, there's a huge gap here, like, for the uh, Lambden as well to push through. They really need to just get a unit. I mean, one of these units is engaged. They have such a thick line, which is not necessary. They can put a, a unit through here and then encircle all of these loyalists. Not that they need to worry about encirclements, because they're going to do it anyway with these men at arms, you imagine. But um, let's have a look and see how the uh, Grey Company are doing in their surrounding pocket. Oh, okay, so the general's gone in for the loyalists, and he's like count their surroundings so if you, we put on the HUD you can see so the loyalists are surrounded here by this unit but then they've also been surrounded by the king's unit so it's like a double encirclement I expect I expect the Grey Company to hold to the last man no ifs no buts 
so many Gondor helmets, it's kind of a bit... You're just like, where does the line stop and where does it start? I mean, these guys are easy to tell. These pesky men-at-arms. Can't even afford a proper helmet. Looks excellent. Fighting out in the wild flowers. And you call yourself real men. You just want to be around the flowers, don't you, men? They're uh, poppies. Uh, that's kind of appropriate for war. Enemy units have returned to the battle. But it looks like the Citadel Guard have... Uh, I think they've broken all these... Uh, no, they've not quite broken this encirclement. I, I think they will. They're losing decisively. But there's now a uh, Lozenarch Axe unit that's going to try and hold this, this breach. And it looks like... Okay, Ithlian Rangers and Grey Company that are out of ammo now being sent in. This is, uh, I mean, that's not a bad idea, to be honest. It's either they get run down by cavalry out here um, in the open, or they run in and they can actually do some damage. I mean, this cavalry is pretty banged up. I mean, the cavalry fight out here is not looking great either for uh, for the for the loyalists. There's four along the o olds being sent in to uh, help deal with the problem, and these axes are probably going to be chopping through horses like butter, th like hot... Oh, like a hot knife through butter. Wow, I butchered that saying. But you know, you know what I mean. But I mean, these uh, Grey Company, they look cool even if they're losing. Oh, look at that. Bra a brave small unit there. I think they might be breaking now. But they, they decided that they were, uh, they weren't going to join their comrades in this fight and they just run home. They tell everyone, we, 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 we survived. God, everyone else is dead. You should have been there. Should have seen the carnage. Yeah, more more fleeing by the sounds of it. Not good. Um, I think this is on the left flank, which is looking certainly worse for wear. We're sending in some uh, Gondor Knights now to hold the rear as they're encircling us ever more. Landon men at arms doing some great damage. Yeah, they're not looking good. These guys in circles, these men, these men at arms, they're not going to hold long. Oh, this actually looks very cool. Look at that. Circle on both sides. Back to back by the loyalists. Do your king proud. Very cool. The cavalry back there looks like it's won its battles uh, out on the extreme flanks, apart from here. But it seems like the uh, Grey Company are going to hold on. That's good to see. If the Grey Company can hold on. There's always hope. I mean, there doesn't look like there's going to be much hope for that unit there. That's a shame. And what's going on in here? Okay, Grey Company rangers fleeing through the village. Oh, because of this cav. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and just like that, that unit broke. Yeah, these Grey Company Mountain Knights are losing decisively, but they're still managing to actually, like, take a few boys with them. And, I mean, the generals have charged into his own men. Never a good decision. Didn't do much damage by the looks of it, but, you know, never a good idea charging your own men into... Charging into the back of your own men. A bit of a word of advice there for you. Does do damage. Especially in Attila with cavalry. Um, but, yeah, now we're doing our early encirclement. Like, they doing the opposite of what's just happened on one flank, and now... We're encircling them, but they are... Looks like the Rebels are also just going to encircle the flanking units. Not good. So many goddamn Gondor helmets. I'm going to be sick of seeing them soon. You can't even really tell. I mean, you can sort of tell by who's facing who, and also like, by the armour and stuff, but... It's, Quickly glancing, not really an idea, apart from these boys. Oh, they are my favourite, by far. I mean, looks like the cavalry are winning over here as well. Yep, yeah, so soon the cavalry are going to have free reign on both flanks. And cavalry are overpowered. I have a feeling I know what this cavalry is going to do. A quick right into these men, route these, possibly. Maybe. They might want to, because this, ca uh, this uh, yeah, here we go. This Grey Company unit is winning quite decisively. There you go. That's a good charge. That will have done a lot of damage. 
It's now made it a uh, great company in losing. Oh, yeah. They're still breaking, though, these knights. Hmm. This, they're a bit, a bit hard to kill, those great company. It's good to know. Good to know. If I ever have a. Have ever, ever in a sticky position again, bring on the great company. And it looks like a ragtag army of uh, archers and. Well, what's left of some uh, men at arms are kind of holding back the cav on this side. It's working to some effect, but I mean. Cavalry and Attila is just overpowered, and when it's sh well chevroned up like this one kind of is, yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. I mean, they're killing quite a few. I think they're breaking some. I don't know. There's a lot of breaking on this side. The left's almost certainly lost. It's kind of just holding this air this small area here. This unit's certainly condemned to die. But I mean, just holding this area here while we can tr possibly try and win a victory on the right, which is still very possible. As I say, that the Grey Company break, which is not good. We need every Grey Company unit we can get. But we are trying to break through with this Citadel Guard, and then we can encircle. I mean, they are just fighting archers. All they have to do is kill these archers, which shouldn't take too long, and then they can start encircling some units and do some damage. Nice kill. Hopefully the General can get some good kills here and doesn't die anytime soon. Would be a real shame. Yes, excellent. Keep executing all these archers. It's like they weren't even trained for combat. Which they probably weren't. They probably told them to hold the sword and maybe how to swing it. And that was probably it. But we're cutting them down. No time. Perfect. And I mean... Either way, I mean, if you break this one unit of spears, you then free up another two units that you can go and flank. I mean, we really need to sort out this flank here because we are actually losing Gondor Knights, uh, spear and swords. This side's not too bad. We are breaking them, so we'll actually free up some more units of our own. There is hope. I mean, the balance of power says otherwise. Oh, actually, we are a thousand difference. Wow. Wow, it's going to take a bit of a miracle. We're going to need to kill a general. Yeah, this is, this is not a pretty sight either. Lots of encirclements in this battle. And now it's two units of uh, Gondor, Gondor spears with men-at-arms spears encircled by some men-at-arms from London. Not a good sight. All we can do is, uh, well, pray that... I don't know, that the king is able to muster another army we're going to need one and I think with a thousand difference I mean these Citadel Guard they're pretty damn good but I don't think they can hold forever I mean they'll cut down these uh, these Lambden men at arms to their own but I mean they can't cut down everyone How many, they're not, there's not many of them left 70 yeah oh and all these cav is starting to break stuff here so uh, oh yeah uh, there we go more breaking here not good not good at all. Oh, I apologize. Oh, the general has actually got in behind them. He must have killed those archers, but he's now being pinned down by some axes. Yeah, not good. But I do love the shields, so... That's all that matters. The, the shields of the, the Grey Company and the Citadel Guard, probably some of my favorite. And they are starting to slowly encircle these guys. Just break these men. Come on. There's axes that have come to try and help out the situation here. So it won't be as easy to break these guys. But I mean, the axes are pretty weak and they're going to be tired at this point. They are actually breaking. Come on, this could be huge if we can do this. I mean, this general is very vulnerable right now. 46. And he's losing decisively. Even though he's surrounding. How are these guys still like... Yeah, oh, that's great. That is actually great. Wow, Lam not Lambda Knights. Uh, the Lozen Archer gone. There's not much left here, though. And the Cav are making some good hammer and anvils. That is a good challenge. A good challenge. A good, uh, good charge. The challenge was set at the beginning. It was going to be a bit of a challenge for the King's Army, I think. Very close uh, in numbers, but they were outmatched in chevrons. And uh, possibly in quality. I mean, Grey Company are good, but there just wasn't enough of them across the entire battlefield. 
And the cavalry was certainly, uh, with their extra chevrons, has certainly outmatched my own cavalry. And here we go, the army, the uh, units from the left flank are now coming over to help seal the deal on this flank. And I'm sending in some archers to try and uh, hold them back. Some Ithlian rangers, known for holding in uh, against unfavourable odds. But, I mean, these odds are very unfavourable. <laughs> Good God. They've not even got shields to protect themselves from the spears. And now we send in some uh, Grey Company. Yeah, these are... Uh, they can't stop every unit, and here we go. This unit is actually going to get through and attack our rear. And Grey Company are now in the hold. And Citadel Guard. Oh no, they're coming back, the Citadel Guard. They're having to turn around and uh, deal with these Lozenarch axes, which have decided to return. I mean, they should break them quite quickly because they've already broken once. Come on, I beg. All we need is one big break. We have all that's left is our elite units. And elite units can change a battle. We saw it in the Milvian Bridge battle. They nearly managed to do it. Oh, that's not good if they're killing off whole units now. Come on. Black, grey company, you can do it. I wanted to call them black company. They are in, like, black uniforms. They look goddamn sexy. What well, they do. That's not good. What's it looking like? Oh, yeah. A huge break. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a mass break. The man was right. The men's resolve was breaking. And it was a valiant defeat. End the replay. We'll have a look at the end results. So we did lose, well, nearly all of our men. We have 500 men remaining from a huge 4,000 army. And, um, well, we did do a lot of damage to the London Rebel Army. They will not be able to attack uh, the White City with a huge force. They have only 18,000 men remaining from what they can uh, regather of their losses as well. Uh, it won't be much to assault the White City. So the White City may have been solved at the sac saved at the sacrifice of this army. But, I mean, let's have a quick look. I mean... Some great company knights with swords do did get 130 uh, kills. That's pretty damn good. Citadel Guard getting 167. That's very good. Some Gondor knights getting 210. Actually outperforming any of our other units. General getting 148. Didn't do too bad cutting down those archers. He wasn't complaining. And nothing else really performed that well. I mean, 50s and uh, 30s. like Pretty average stuff. Um, the General, Angbor the Fearless, getting 111 kills. That's very good. Um, Forlong the Old, doing very well, getting 230. Goddamn machine he was there. Um, then the Lozenarch Heavy Axeman getting some fairly good kills, 177. Um, anything else doing excellent? I mean, Cav, there you go, 384 for that Lambden Mounted Knights. These guys were insanely chevroned up. I'm not even sure how I was supposed to defend, defeat these guys. But, um, yeah... Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, there was so many of them, but oh well. We tried our hardest and we did do a lot of damage. And archers, wow, there's a lot of archers. 100 kills for those archers there. Um, but everything else doing okay. 142 for Lambda Men at Arms, pretty good. Um, for the spear unit. But yeah, it was a very good battle. Lots of encirclements, very close at some points. But in the end, it was a valiant defeat for the Loyalists. And now the Rebels will march on. So if you guys want to see the next part of this mini series and see the defense of the White City then please do leave a like and subscribe. Let's, uh, try and get to that thousand mark. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, guys. And anyway, guys, until next time, I will see you guys later.